In this video, I'm going to tell you 1. Whether time started at the Planck time, 2. How the laws of physics are thought to have come to be during this period, and 3rd, in the earliest moments of existence prior to inflation, what other major event is thought to have occurred. First things first, did the universe begin at the Planck time, at 10 to the minus 43 seconds? And the answer to that is, we don't know. The reason why that's there is because it's the smallest unit of time that we can theoretically model. So that's where we're left with. But the fact is, is that when we look back in time, all we're doing is looking at our local region of space and looking at that get increasingly squashed until it reaches the limits of our imagination. But what came before that? What exists outside of that? We don't really know. It could be that that's the beginning. It could be that that's the beginning for our local space region. It could be that that's not the beginning of anything at all. However, despite us not knowing, the way that cosmologists model it for the moment is that our smallest theoretical unit of time, the playing time, 10 to the minus 43 seconds, is the first unit, and that takes us through the first stage of the universe, and then the second stage of the universe happens in the gut epoch from 10 to the minus 43 seconds up to 10 to the minus 36 seconds. And from the period of time equals zero until 10 to the minus 36 seconds, two things are thought to have happened. The first of which is the laws of physics are thought to have come to be. In fact, the laws of physics are thought to have come to be in that first moment, the first smallest unit of time, the Planck time. In that first 10 to the minus 43 seconds, it's proposed by string theorists that there were 10 dimensions of space. And those 10 dimensions in that earliest moment collapsed, seven of them collapsed, infolding upon each other forming the smallest unit of space, and thereby giving us the structure of space-time, which gives us the laws of physics for the things that operate within space-time. To make that somewhat more understandable, or though not close to understandable enough, string theorists are approaching this in kind of the way that chemists approached atomic molecules and minerals in the late 19th century. They discovered the atom, and then they started proposing that the structure and the nature of chemical compounds, such as molecules or minerals, were just the story of the structure of the atom. The reason why certain atoms combine is because of their size, because of the electron structure on the outer shell. And those two things tell the story of what atoms do and how atoms act. So it's the structure and nature of atoms that tells the story of molecules and minerals. Similarly, it's thought to be that the structure of space itself is what gives the laws of physics their properties makes the laws of physics what they are. So it's thought that seven dimensions collapsed, three dimensions remained large, and those three dimensions are why we experience the world in three dimensions. Third, there's one other major event that's thought to happen prior to inflation that's important to address, and that is the separation of gravity from the three other forces. In the beginning, it's thought that all the four forces of nature, the strong nuclear force, the weak nuclear force, the electromagnetic force, and the gravitational force were all unified. However, it's thought that in this earliest time, gravity splits off, leaving gravity on its own, and then the strong force, the weak force, and the electromagnetic force together in the gut force, the grand unified theory force is what it's called, which gives the name to that second epoch in history. The Planck epoch is the first epoch, 10 to the minus 43 seconds, in which the laws of physics come to be, and then in the second epoch, the 4 10 to the minus 36 seconds, from 10 to the minus 43 to 10 to the minus 36 is the gut epoch, in the next video, we're going to attack inflation, but looking backwards, we're going to try to understand the questions that were troubling physicists that brought about the hypothesis of inflation. Till next time.